you know, um, wash out today. Um, where does that leave this match? Yeah, I think um, it's not what we want to have any time out of the game for both teams. Uh, but I think, you know, certainly enough time in the game to, to push for a possible result. But I think, yeah, it's going to be, you know, up to the weather. We can have a new day tomorrow and go from there. But, you know, you always got to believe that you can still be in the, the frame to, you know, push for a result. But, you know, we just have to try our best and believe we can still win and, you know, all, all, all go for the next two days. And what was the feedback from the bowling group about the conditions and how things were going, you know, on day two? Oh, look, it's certainly uh, a wicket that does... It's not offering uh, a lot of bounce, um, but it's certainly a wicket that's still offering a lot, uh, or enough, I should say, not a lot. It's offering enough for uh, uh, all the bowlers, uh, you know, whether it be spin or seam. So I think it's just a matter of us you know, getting back into that test mode of being patient and, and bowling the way that we know that we can bowl. And I thought it was a really good start yesterday, um, getting back into test cricket bowling again. Um, and yet again, we'll just look to do that tomorrow and, and see how far we can uh, make way into the England batting. Um, obviously, the weather never sort of cleared up today, but was there anything of excitement about possibly getting out there with a cloud cover? Oh, look, it's certainly always mentioned about the... The cloud cover in Lords, uh, you know, if you're playing here, and yeah, it would be nice to get on, but obviously it wasn't to be. Uh, it was, you know, we we didn't worry about it too much. The boys enjoyed uh, looking at a few of the highlights of the previous games played here, and some of the interesting comments and and, and interesting analysis from the, the the TV here. So the guys, you know, stuck in and got into some cards. It was, it was a pretty long day, uh, but yeah, unfortunately, yeah, we just didn't get on and. Yeah, we look forward to, you know, if it's like that tomorrow uh, with a bit of cloud, we'll certainly enjoy that moment and try and execute the best we can. Yeah, obviously um, Lords has its um, unique aspects in terms of the slope. Um, what was the feedback from Kyle like about his first experience bowling out there? Yeah, I think uh, from, from Kyle, he was, you know, he was very happy the way he went. You know, I was too. I thought him and Tim presented themselves really well with the new ball, looked very challenging. Uh, it's great to get those early breakthroughs, which is, you know, your role with the new ball is to put pressure on and get those early breakthroughs. So it was great from him. And certainly, yeah, a new and learning experience uh, with the slope. He, you know, he's obviously really enjoyed his time. So, yeah, looking forward to doing it again tomorrow. And, you know, if you now look to the last two days, having lost a big chunk of time, um, obviously this is the first of three foot tests in succession of a big one right at the end. Mm. Um, you know, does the worry about overworking some of these guys if you have to have two bowling innings play into sort of strategic strategy conversations oh yeah there's certainly a lot of planning that goes in behind the scenes i think at uh, the scenes i think we do more we, do, we probably do more planning we've done more planning on this trip than ever we had eight or nine days when we of rain when we first turned up we had four plans every day for training and uh, you know gary is is great and in, includes me in all those conversations and from my side of the fence yeah, you know, we're certainly watching the workload of the bowlers, uh, the guys that are playing, and so certainly the guys that aren't, uh, making sure everyone's getting enough work done, but obviously not too much. So, yeah, having missed a day, it puts us in a position to around that loading perspective, and and or it sort of potentially stops wait, you know, too many overs being bowled. So, we certainly didn't want that in our first test because the first test we always worried that the the boys might bowl too much. So that's, that's always a worry. So with the, you know, it's the one little positive that we might have, but at the same time, it's fantastic to get back into test cricket again. And just lastly from me, um, I take it Trent Bolt has arrived in the UK. Um, have you heard from him since he's landed? Um, and I guess you know, there's a bit of confusion around him and Gary earlier in the week around what the plans are with him. He's still on track purely for that World Cup, World Test Championship final. Yeah, he hasn't even messaged me yet. I don't even know why. He's here somewhere in the hotel. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're, we're sort of waiting, I think, on a, uh, some results of testing for him. But uh, at this stage, yeah, it's still the plan for the World World Test Championship final. That's that's all I know. So um, I haven't, haven't seen him yet. Uh, cool. Thank you. No worries. Thank you, Andrew. Oh, hi, Shane. It's uh, Alec here from The Guardian. Um, I just... Looking back both to the World Cup final in 2019 and then uh, the cricket that we saw yesterday, it seems like the sort of Joe Root, Colin de Grandon <laughs> battle is quite
quite an intriguing one. I just how do you see it from your point of view? Oh, it's great to watch. I think uh, Colin certainly presents a challenge for Joe. Joe's a fantastic player, been such a, a product now for in, the England cricket team. You know, very good captain, and you know it's a, it's a great battle. And me personally, I love watching it from the from the uh, up on the balcony. And yeah, certainly, I think with Colin, he's, he you may see on the what 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 does he present? He presents someone that can either swing it or seam it. Um, and I think also with Colin, you, on the speed radar, it may only, or not, may see sort of like 115 to 125 kilometres an hour. But Colin, as you see, when he hits the cricket ball, hits it a long way, is extremely strong. So he does bowl a heavy ball. And I think that's why you saw yesterday, you know, he had the, um, the ball either jumping up and down, maybe keeping low, and also you know, some, some movement. So he's very accurate and presents, you know, a good challenge for all the batters. Is it fair to say that he's got the uh, the better of it so far in the across those two sort of battles that I mentioned? Oh, <laughs> oh look, I think it's pretty even. <laughs> I think uh, you know, I think yeah, at the World Cup final, he certainly uh, you know he got his wicket there. But at the same time, I think with Colin, I think with all batters, he he certainly tests your patience, and I think you know it'll be a good good challenge for for them again to, tomorrow to go against each other. Yeah, and, and as his coach, do you, do you approve of that haircut? <laughs> it's like it, it's bring back uh, the the era of Woodstock back at Lords, isn't it? The seventies. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Uh, look, I approve of it. My, my wife loves it. I don't know why, but she thinks it's great. But yeah, uh, it certainly provides a, a, a bit of entertainment level for the boys in the change rooms and the crowd. You, you got a standing ovation from one section of the crowd on the way back from. Uh, the indoor nets after having a, a bat, so uh, you know it certainly provides a lot of fun. Fantastic! Cheers! Thanks, thanks for your answers. Thanks, Ali. <laughs> Hi, Shannon. It's uh, David here from PA. Thanks for your time. Uh, I was just wondering how Kyle's adapting to the conditions with you fall given his success, obviously last winter with New Zealand. Oh, I missed that first part of the question. Sorry. That... Sorry. Uh, I was just wondering how Kyle Kyle's finding. Um, oh, Kyle's done it with the Duke ball and, and you know, given his success with, with the Cookaburra last winter. Yeah, I think he certainly uh, provides an opportunity for him to execute his skills. You know, it's, he can swing the, the ball both ways. Um, and I think so far he's had to make a, a couple little adjustments uh, the way that he holds the ball, but overall it's still the same game, game plan for him. and. I think what I was really impressed is the first time he's opened the bowling um, for New Zealand in a test so far, and I was really happy with the way that he executed him and Tim. And I and, and I know you're asking about Kyle, but I thought Tim was absolutely outstanding. His spell, he really presented you know, a real stiff challenge for the opposition. I thought he was really accurate and swing and really pr put pressure on England batters early, and I think that's the reason why we took the early wickets. Do you think this washout today changes the balance of power in any way? Oh, I think there's still enough time to 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 potentially, you know, believe that there can be a result. Um, I think, yeah, it's the advantage for us is that we've got the runs on the board, um, and I think that's that's always a always good to have that to be, in, you know, obviously in front of the stage of the game in terms of the runs. But I think, yeah, certainly two days, it's going to be tough to get a result. But at the same time, you still got to believe and keep pushing that you can. So I think from our perspective, it, it might slightly adjust the way that you um, think a little bit. But at the same time, it's for us, it's still about playing, playing, you know, five days of good cricket. Well, obviously now four. It's still fast. Righty, unless anyone else has got anything extra for Shane, we'll uh, wrap it up. Any new time shaking heads from Andy. All right, thanks very much, guys, and thanks very much, Shane.